You know, that's real. Did you know that about yourself? We just moved here five years ago. My wife grew up in New Brighton, and uh, we moved here. Let's hear for New Brighton, yes. Well, don't boo New Brighton. <laughs> but we moved here from California five years ago, and that whole Minnesota nice thing is true. You're the nicest people in America. Oh. In fact, you're too nice. <laughs> you are too nice. Four-way stops put you people into a brain freeze. <laughs> what is wrong with you people? Take your turn. Don't stare well, you were here first, but I, you know, I've lived a good life and I'm having a stroke. I should get going, but you're ahead. <laughs> Actually, I grew up in Wisconsin. Anybody from our... I grew up in a little town, Stevens Point, Wisconsin. Nice town, not a cultural hub. Good idea about Stevens Point. My high school fight chair was, in fact, Usasa, Usasa. Hit him in the head with the kielbasa, and that's true. Polish town. Grew up in a big family, four moms, five dads. And... <laughs> That's a lie. I'm not gonna lie anymore on stage. You know why? There's too many lies in the world. Would you agree with that? Yeah. Too many lies. You know who lies the most? Home Depot. Home Depot lies. You can do it, we can help. That's a lie. <laughs> The truth is, you can do it, we can help it look like hell, and you may kill yourself. <laughs> you know who else lies? Televangelists. Have you seen Televangelists on the TV? You know, they have them here on the cable, and they have them like this guy, the pepper gray hair guy with the teeth that are so white, God couldn't make him that white. You know that guy? <laughs> he's on TV live, claiming he's getting a message from God, but he can't hear it. God is talking to him. But he can't understand God. He's going, Lord, please be patient. I'm trying to hear you, Lord. I'm thinking, is there a weak signal, God? Is that possible? <laughs> if God wanted to talk to this guy, wouldn't it be, sell the Cadillac and feed the poor, you pompous ass? So we live here in Minnesota now, and it's great. It's a great move. My daughter has completely embraced Minnesota, she plays hockey. See, I played sports all my life, but I never played hockey, and I didn't realize, you know, you sharpen those blades every week, right? And you can cut paper, and, and they're sharp, and the sticks fly, and the pucks are going, and the, the goals, did you know they're made of metal? <laughs> and the ice, they keep that very firm. Have you been on the ice? It's hard. And you don't know the emotion that you go through as a parent until you see a 12-year-old little precious girl laying motionless on the ice. <laughs> and you know your daughter put her there. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I would like to clown around and joke around all night, but I can't. There's important work to be done. I'm here to tell you about something the true weapons of mass destruction, the axis of evil we needed to worry about. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you an inconvenient horror, the animal conspiracy. <laughs> Let's cover that right up. That's not right. <laughs> Although, Michelangelo didn't think much of Adam, did he? <laughs> This is my thinking. I believe God created man in his image, and these jealous bastards can't take it. They hate us, they hate capitalism, they hate democracy, and we have to get them before they get us. And people say, Tim, is there a conspiracy? I mean, could they really? Yes, there is, ladies and gentlemen, there is. And I give you this, ladies and gentlemen, how, how sophisticated could it be? They learn how to ring doorbells. They learn how to ring doorbells. Sadie Finkelstein, 88 years old, came out, almost lost her head. 
And if they ever learn how to say publishers clearing house, you're a winner. We will lose Florida, ladies and gentlemen. Isolated incident? I think not. It's happening all over the place. By the way, these two photos that you've just seen were sent to me by the reporters that took them. Nothing that you're going to see tonight has been photoshopped or altered in any way, and this is the future if we don't act. <laughs> right, that could be photoshopped. But I include it because it looks like something a cat would do, doesn't it? Be <laughs> Harvey Oz cat. That could happen. that the species that loves us so much they feel bad if they've done something wrong. Look at that. Dogs love humans. Dogs love humans so much they do some very difficult jobs that they really don't want to do. <laughs> he had a strong sense of smell. He didn't want to go find Grandpa, but he did. Dogs love us so much, they're trying to learn how to speak the language of capitalism English. Listen to this. I love mama. Garbage. You want You want raise our kids. It's unbelievable. But there's a species that hates us, ladies and gentlemen. This is where I discovered the animal conspiracy. I give you the big head card. <laughs> An evil slime going for a kill shot to the temple. That's what that is. And this is the video. These idiot biologists claim the roar of boat motors is what excites these carp and they jump into the air and they happen coincidentally to be killing fishermen. There's nothing good in the air for a fish. They can't breathe it. They can't eat it. All there is is killing capitalists. <laughs> but as long as we have drunk guys in hockey masks, we have a chance, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> God bless you, Patriot. And again, the kill shot to the temple. <laughs> And for eight years, it was so frustrating, our leaders didn't know who the real enemy was. Listen to this. I know that human being and fish can coexist peacefully. <laughs> I know that human being and fish can coexist peacefully. That's not even conjugated correctly. <laughs> Human being and fish can coexist peacefully. Think again, frat boy. Right to the crotch. Right to the crotch. It's a kill shot to the temple or a humiliation shot to the crotch. Isolated, isolated incident? I think not. Right to the crotch. And it was so frustrating, I would call the White House and try to explain what was going on. I hope that's Photoshop. How did we get through? I'm not working alone. This is an intrepid reporter on my payroll. He found an Al Qaeda fish training camp. This is where they're teaching the little ones to become the big assassins I showed you earlier. What does any species want to do? They want to procreate, they want to eat, they don't want to be eaten. Why would they do this? Fish are attacking fishermen. And deer are attacking deer hunters. Watch this. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Pick up your weapon, soldier. Pick up your weapon. You're in camo. You're in uniform. Get up and fight. Get up and get in a fight. And don't you run. Don't you run. You want to know the worst thing about this video? You know who's running the camera? His wife. What kind of a hell is that there? on the camera pick up a stick and help your husband, you witch. <laughs> but you deer hunters have to do better than that. At least stay awake, for God's sake. <laughs> They're eating our lunch, literally. If you don't do better, we will be the hunted. <laughs>